Yo, 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 guys. I'm back for another episode of Missile Dude RPG. Really enjoying this series. Um, I, I do have a habit of sticking out with the AFK idle games. Um, except this is a little bit more interactive than usual. Um, so here's my statistics. Gone up a little bit from the last episode. Uh, as you saw in the clip. Um... In yesterday's video, I got the level 1000 boss dead, uh, Diablo. Um, I also managed to reach him in an hour, uh, which I will stick in a clip. Either this video or the next video, I managed to reach him in an hour. But <clears throat> I, um, I've hit a wall. So as you can see, this is for the reach 2000 in an hour. I haven't managed to do it. So I'm planning on using the drop ore, which will also get me a reward. Uh, over there in the top right corner. Uh, I don't want to discard the quest, no. Um, so I'm going to go for this boss. I can beat this boss. Um, I'm going to go to 1700, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the stage one dungeon boss, which is just there. I feel like I might have enough power to kill him. Um, so let's see how that goes. So let's get some marines. We're going to level this guy up a couple of times. He's going to give me the damage to get past this boss. I'm going to use double launcher. Oh, wow, well, I forgot to activate. Okay. I'm just going to use this. It should be enough to get past him. I forgot to activate my auto launcher. We're just, we're just flying, through the, flying through the levels right now. We can use a stim pack to get past 1700. We may need to use it, we may not. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the boss, and then I'm going to use a drop or prestige and show you my process of prestiging and what I'll go for. You can also see there's no exclamation mark at my missile section. Uh, I've got dungeon reward there. Uh, that's because I've fully upgraded everything. I've got a big chunk of hellstone from killing Diablo in under an hour. So all of these are all fully upgraded, so all their passive effects are active so final launcher damage infantry damage armor damage all of those are fully in effect all the way up to my rarest ones up here final launcher damage 30 percent that boss was really easy so i probably could make 2000 and i probably could make it in two hours but i want all the rewards in one go so i'm gonna have that for the next video we're just gonna go ahead and fight Diablo. I believe it's Diablo again. Yeah, it is Diablo. So you get it's not it's not showing me what it is, but I believe it's an area upgrade, some hailstones, and a big legendary box. So we'll take advantage of the fact we've got the double launcher firing. Uh, might as well use steam pack because it looks like we're gonna kill him anyway, so we might as well just get him out of the way. There we go, dead in 15 seconds. All building upgrades level um, 2000 Hellstone or Bone Crate. Now, I don't think the building level ups are very effective past low game, at least not yet. So, the level ones are all fine. Um, a Bone Crate or Hellstone could both be quite good. I'm expecting to get a boat crate, Bone Crate next prestige. So, I'm going to see what's in it. Um, Although I won't have the Hellstone to upgrade it. Hmm. And I'm not going to claim all of them because I am planning on buying the big chest next game. So, uh, next next video. I'm going to go for the Bone Crate. We've got some new launchers. Uh, we're going to activate them at the higher level. So 568. We've got a knife missile that's new with armor damage as a passive effect. Storm, that's new final final launcher damage 100% and infantry damage 7% and offline material gain as well, that's pretty cool but that needs to be equipped for that um, let's use the drop all because I believe I'm going to get a decent reward for that so I'm going to get 3.45k I'm going to get to collect a reward as well it's only a small box, okay. It's something, I guess. 
and play for 10 minutes is the next reward. So we may get that by the end of this video, who knows. Uh, let's create a new art artifact. See what we can get. Double fairy chance plus 1% and all damage 100%. That's pretty decent. However, it doesn't feel like it's very decent. It's all the way at the bottom. Only upgrades by 50%. Okay. Um, I've got enough to create another one. Let's see if we can get another like really decent artifact. Launcher free upgrade chance plus 0. Oh, okay, so you've got a chance of getting it for free while you're scrolling through upgrades. That's pretty decent. And all damage 80%. Let's get that up to level 1. That's a 1% chance, so every 100 upgrades, there's a chance of one of them being free. Um, I feel Insomnia might be a better one to go for rather than the damage per achievement. It's a massive total of damage. I think I might go for it again as well. Um, and then let's just go through some of these to waste the other 700 coins. Uh, double fairy chance. Let's get some more damage up to 100%. We'll go for that one again. Don't really. I'm not really interested in junk, junk, drug junkie. I can get my jewel da javelins upgraded for another 300, so we'll take that. And skill duration. We'll go up a level. Gambler coin, up another level. Now, Neuron or Gambler coin? I think Gambler coin. Okay. Diablo artifacts I can't upgrade until I get to level 2000. I've got four minutes left of my auto fire. Let's just let's go crazy on those. Like, this literally, I, I, I did this just and it just one shot for so long. So I've claimed all those rewards, I can't reclaim those. I one shot for so long, I think I one shot up to about round 700. Um, just for my general damage. I didn't need to buy any marines or anything. So we are at dungeon level 2 now. Random army, oh okay, I don't have any army units yet. That's why I can't upgrade that one. Um, and last build, I built a crit build. So I'm going to go for crit and boss damage. So I'm either going to take suppressors, reinforced heating plates, or iron sights. I'm going to go for boss damage first. Probably wasn't the best choice, but boss damages are harder to draw. Take a mineral golem. Uh, we're literally just gonna we're gonna fly through this. Just constantly upgrading the launch to try and get new uh, new attachments for the launcher. So in the comments what waves are you on? If you're playing this game, what waves are you on? Um obviously my highest was seven hundred seventeen hundred and I'm expecting by the next video to Probably be around the 3000 mark. Maybe going for a, a 3001 hour run. At least we can only hope. Uh, let's get this up to level 40. So there's the crit damage. Uh, Stim pack duration is also very good. Uh, but Stim pack duration is quite common. So I'm going to stick with the crit damage for now. I'm going to keep going. I think 20k. I can unlock the big missile. Try and unlock that and get that out of the way as quick as possible. There we go. Just in case we get, after the play one, in case we get a use skills one. Get as many skills as possible. So next video, I'm planning on purchasing the highest crates in the game. Probably these three. Uh, I've got achievements lined up that I'm going to go through offline ready to get to these but I'm really looking forward to opening up this ancient crate um, there's going to be so much but I also definitely need to open the house stone crate for 1750 to 2000 house stone that's 100% uh, necessary 
I can't unlock any of those just yet. Let's fire some of these. I wonder if the Area 2 dungeon bosses start with health more than Diablo or whether they get reset and you can go through them on the lower levels. Yeah, he's got 51A damage. Yeah, we're not we're not getting through that anytime soon. We'll leave that. We'll leave that for now. Thank you very much. I mean, my, dam my damage is also al already in the like, 10 million mark. Look at the crit damage. Crit damage is crazy. I'm just going to go ahead and keep buying marines so we can start upgrading for some free ones. And there's wave 100 already. Uh, I don't think it's worth watching the ads for the rewards. Because by the time you've watched the ad, you've already earned that many coins plus more if you pass a boss. So watching the ads on that. Are not worth it watching the ads for Bluetooth Bluetonium R. I keep forgetting what this is called. Is it Bluetonium? It's, it, it's something along those lines. But watching the ads, so when, when a fairy pops up saying he's carrying one of those, the radiation stones, and it says watch an ad to get five, it's definitely worth watching. Uh, it's definitely worth having as much of that as possible. Um, because you also get uh, free energy for your double your auto launcher without having to watch an ad you can get five of those for a hundred rather than going to the shop and paying 500 for it it's definitely worth doing that um what's next what's next i mean that's it's probably just about it. So I'm going to take the stim pack duration this time. Because I've already got A boss damage. I want to sort of like st straggle up there e evenly. Um, but that's the build I'm going to go for. And that's the build I recommend going for. They're, they're the main three. You want boss damage, stim pack and launch a crit. I haven't found the gem gain 3% to be worthwhile just yet I don't really seem to be struggling for money just yet so I recommend definitely going for the path that I'm going uh, and if you've got the house loan available always upgrade these always upgrade them and just gain the passive effects because now you can see that my damage is like 13,000% damage on all damage and 1100 on launcher damage. Um, my museum's getting quite full up with the portal sets. I need three on one, four on the other. Uh, last video I claimed that I was using the black portal set. I'm not. That's the one I'm aiming for. Um, when you've got them all full, then I believe you can claim a set of them or something. Um, but that's definitely the one I recommend going for, the black portal set. But I think that that will just about do it. I've done a prestige, I've done the level 1 area boss, uh, level 1 dungeon boss. And next video we will be hitting wave 2000 and opening up some big crates. So I will see you for that. And don't forget to leave a like, that would be much appreciated, it helps the video get noticed. Uh, subscribe if you're not already. Uh, there's daily streams every day between 8pm and 10pm. Uh, start time GMT UK time and I'm currently on 17 days without missing a stream actually no this video is going up tomorrow so it'll be 18 days without missing a stream uh, so don't forget to subscribe with notifications on for that um, we play BTB battles tournaments uh, with viewers every single day uh, but for now that'll be it thank you peace